This is the me arm. And although I have the you arm, this is the first time I got my hands on the me arm. And today we're going to be building it. Well, I've been excited about this for a while. It's supplied by Kitronic, the Mi Arm Classic, although I guess it's Mime Industries and Cool Components. In my last video, Helena joined me while we were looking at uh, connecting the Owie Edge robot arm to a Raspberry Pi. So this is an inexpensive arm with open source designs for the patterns that build it. Four servo motors, screws, feet to stand it on. And then we've got this. So this is connecting servo motors, I guess. I'm hoping this can be connected to the controller of my choice. Laser cut parts. So I've got to get the backing off. John's favourite job, if you remember. Oh no, not again. This is smart. Look, I think this piece is designed so once I've pressed out these middle bits, maybe this outer bit still serves as a functioning part of the robot so it is not waste. Right, we've got what clearly appear to be gripper pieces here. I'm going to use the Raspberry Pi on a robot because I've got a PyCon Zero with the servo breakout already on it. I need to go and get all of these servos in about the right position. My plan here is to uh, actually go and borrow some code. Let's set zero as a servo. Say so one and two. Set output zero ninety. That is the middle. Set output config three and two. So I now have the motors two times this direction. Put this servo in there. And it looks like we're gonna go this way. So these must grip on to Perspex without needing a screw. And the other slots on like this. The screw goes in there. Unlike the uh, U-arm, micro-arm, the, the me arm, I suppose it's smaller and cheaper and simpler, it isn't using bearings and I guess this is why they're saying to keep these screws loose and not over tighten them. Now, I've had to tighten this one just enough so it doesn't have so much lateral movement spin on the right axis and not the other one. And I can't help but think a couple of washers would also have helped. Kind of looks like that's going to end up going through there. I think what they mean in that diagram wouldn't one of the servo horns designed to end up there. So they aren't bolting the servo horn on. Like that. Okay, we now need these two. I guess this goes on this side, and this one on this side. And this one lines up in there. The servo horns, they're just capturing them mechanically. I will be inviting Jonathan to program this. 
So this doesn't have the wrist movement that the, uh, the micro arm from Micro Factory does. I've got to admit, I don't think I use that wrist movement all that much. This piece, which I was going to catch on my screws, and that's part around that servo horn again. To me, looks like a finished robot arm. Hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you're inspired to go and make one of these yourself. It's going to get far more fun when we actually plug it in and make it do things. And uh, until that time, please give me a thumbs up. Leave comments if you've got questions about this. Go make stuff and be awesome. Bye.